Hello there friends, welcome back to more Slay the Spire Ultra Modded Edition. Today we check out a new character, the Runesmith. This is a uh, mod by Blizzari and Pure Stream, and uh, I know nothing about this guy, if I'm being honest with you. So I'm excited to uh, check her out, my apologies. Um, we'll, we'll be checking her out today. Dude, the art, like, actually looks official. <laughs> it looks really good. So at the start of each combat, gain two Ignis. 70 out of 70 HP, gold 99. Less rocket, man. Less rocket. Uh, I had her recommended to me. Dude, this actually looks like a legit character in the game. Uh, so two Ignis. At the start of your turn, enhance a random card in your hand. So the elements Ignis, Terra, and Aqua are spent to craft runes and are used for other utilities. I'm already lost and I'm ready to go. These cards also look great. So uh, basic strikes, basic defense. One Ignis, craft a Firestone rune with four potency. Okay, let's pick apart this. So craft creates a rune using elements. If the rune cannot be crafted, gain that many elements instead. Okay, so if we can't craft a Firestone rune, then we gain one Ignis. A Firestone rune deals damage to random enemies, and the four potency is the power of the rune once crafted. Gotcha. Already got that figured out. Uh, and then gain six block, fortify a card, increases the damage block and potency of a card by 50%. All right. Uh, going to be real with you. I already got this on lock. It's an easy win. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Uh, there's like 700 question marks that lead to an elite. So, I mean, you already know what route I'm taking. Dude, look at this though. Oh my. That's frightening. Okay. So like, let, let, let's just see, right? So why are you a nine block card? Huh? You're not normally a 9 block card, but it appears that I've been fortified. At the start of your turn, enhance a random card in your hand. Sounds great. Uh, and we start with 2 Ignis. I've got this figured out, man. I, I, I very, very completely understand this. Uh, so now, like, if we were to do this, this would create an Ignis. No, that created a Fire Rune. Maybe it makes an Ignis and then makes a Fire Rune. So since I had 2, it would do that. And then this is at the end of the turn, the old four damage to a random enemy, so this should kill him. Okay. Understood. We're here. We're here. Malik. I feel like I'm coding C. Uh, downgrade any number of cards in your hand. Gain energy for each card downgraded. That's funky. That's funky, and I feel like really good. But six block, whenever you play a card, upgrade it. Enhance the card if it can't be upgraded. Dude, I kind of like Malik, though. This is also just a draw or a 10 damage card. Both of these seem good, honestly. Uh, in fact, all three of them seem like they could be solid. I'm going to take Malak only because it's a blue rarity. Obtain bland fruit, become cursed. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Perhaps it could be cooked. I, I don't know. Um, so... I guess I'm going to uh, brew swift fruit later. I I don't know. I got no idea what happened there. I, I will not randomize my starting relic. Thank you very much. So whenever you play a card that costs at least three, you gain some energy back. I'm fine with that as well. Okay, so this one Ignis crafts a rune. Fair enough. Enhance a random card in your hand and enhance my strike. It is now doing nine damage. Okay. I, I, I kind of got it figured out. It's just going to take a little bit, you know? Start your turn, gain an Ignis and a Terra. Now, I think that that's solid. This is a two Terra card and crafts a Protectio rune. Uh, the Protectio is a me. Exhaust a card uh, if it's a. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, Dude, there's a lot going on here. I like the idea of it's a me protectio. So we're going to do that. Um, I actually, I'm going to be real with you. I, I don't like runic icosahedron. I, I if it was up to me, I would just take that out of the, uh, take that out of the mod so I don't have to use it. But that just means that I can leave and not worry about it. So gain a Terra, gain block equal to two times the number of your Terra. Um, sadly, this is not something I'm interested in. Never mind. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. If we're going to be doing this, we, we should do this. Gaining two potency is also really good. 
Dude, this character is interesting. I'm liking this. There, there's some really positive things going on here. So this is like our first true fight. Um, I'm ready to see what direction this goes in, right? So that's a double enhanced. Boy, does he stay double enhanced? He does. Oh, damn, dude. That seems real good then. So this will give me two Terra. Yeah, but it doesn't craft the rune. Okay. And then this will give me six block because it's block equal to two times my Terra. And since I gain a Terra from it, that does six block. Yeah, that, that makes logical sense. I'm with it. I won't play that. We'll take some damage here, but that's okay. Uh, so here will be an Ignis that does four damage at the end of our turn. Not a problem. Defends don't mean anything. Don't even bother playing them. So two more Terra, but this will then craft a rune. And that's a block rune. At the end of your turn, gain some block. So there's a little bit of... There's a little bit of defect kind of play style going on here. Um, but it's a little bit deeper, I think, um, in terms of the gameplay. Because it requires us uh, basically crafting our orbs that we are getting. So this is now a passive six block per turn. I really like that. I really like that a lot. Now, gaining potency. So I'm now realizing potency is essentially... If I understand this correctly, um, potency is in a lot of ways just um, just like focus in defect world, right? Because it's basically just uh, a way to make our orbs better. So break your oldest rune to gain one block, deal a damage, apply a weak and a vulnerable. Dude, this is incredible. It's, like, really good. I, I think that this is, like, really good. I, I'm going to take that. Maybe it won't be good. I don't know. Start of each combat, enemy with the most HP loses 8 strength. We've had that before. It's quite good. Uh, I will always take Curse Coin and then just yeet the curse. And then I kind of like Oddly Smooth Stone always. But elements are no longer needed for crafting. What? I don't, I don't even think we need that. But, like, gaining Terra is always good, right? Like, I'm not crazy in thinking that that's always good. And then... So, a dud rune has no effect. <laughs> Crafts a random non-dud rune. I don't know, man. This seems good, too. I'm just going to take it. I think that this is... I'm, I'm making a hell deck right now where I have... Okay. I'm. You have to, right? You have to infuse the bland fruit with my seed, right? So, Swift Fruit. The first card you play each turn gains double block. That's crazy good. I'm glad we did that. I'm still incredibly confused by, like, everything going on here. But... I'm still hacking with it, man. We'll make it work. So these are the guys. They just, like, attack friggin' randomly. Okay, so let's do that. Then we break that rune to gain, like, one of everything. I would do that again if asked. <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, then let me hit you with this. Let me hit you with this. I feel like it's just one of those, like, solid things to do here. Now, we do take damage because of it, um, but it sets us up really well for the future. So, this will spend random things. I must have missed something there. Because I thought that was supposed to make things. Uh, but maybe not. Also, I need another way to craft uh, Terra runes. That, that's kind of my my new, I want a way to craft terror runes. This will do nothing. Okay. I, th this, this guy sucks anyway. So if it, it, just kill him. 
I don't know why that didn't make a thing before. So I actually like Tiger Marble. Random card that exhausts costs zero until played. It'll allow us to see some stuff as well. So three Aqua crafts an Industria rune. Industria gains energy at the start of your turn. It's pretty good, to be fair. Um, so this is basically a one energy card that gives us energy for the rest of our turns. I think that's an easy take in the deck, right? Like, easy take. So that upgraded this strike. Um, let's bring in... Oh, we'd have to break a rune to get it. Okay. Okay. I understand. So we're not taking damage right now. Um, so this card actually does nothing in its current state. But I think that that's fine. We, we need to... Uh, make we, we need more ways to make runes to be honest that that's where we're getting caught right now is we can't make runes fast enough to actually uh to actually get where we want to go so then that i feel like that should have given us I mean, should that not have given us uh, <laughs> an energy thing? Because I thought if you, you create the thing... I don't know, man. This will make a random... It didn't make a random thing, man. Okay, I'm, I'm very confused by several of these... Uh, several of these things. So, just help me out here. Charge Hammer. Deal 15 damage. Spend three random elements. Break your oldest dud rune. I don't have a dud rune. I don't know how the hell to get a dud rune. Rune. Dud rune? Room? Runescape? I don't know how to do that, man. So that card is worthless right now. Um, eight damage, two aqua, and a potency. That seems pretty good. Right? I want to remove basic strikes from our hand. Because this is going to start to get a little bit uh, wacky. All characters lose 13 strength this turn. That's hilarious. I'm going to pass on that for right now, but thanks for the option. I should have hit him with the hammer for 15 damage now that I think about it. Uh, fortify, smack you, gain that aqua, whatever the hell that means, uh, and then chill. Clumsy goes away. I don't care about clumsy right now. It's a big, big old who cares in terms of... Uh, a curse not really affecting us in any way so then this should make the energy orb it didn't and I'm still really confused by that because I feel like it really should have but maybe not maybe I'm still missing something maybe you have to have three when you get it I mean that could very well be the case That went really well. Okay. I'm still trying to piece together everything here. 12 block, 3 Ignis, craft 2 Firestone runes with 2 potency. I don't know. That seems really good as well. I'm going to take that as well. We end, I feel like things that create orbs is, like, fantastic. And I still think this maybe isn't that good, but... And I don't know a way to get a dud rune. There's just there's so much stuff that I just don't understand yet. Uh, I think that this might be the correct play. Because then that gives us three aqua. Which then allows us to get more. But I don't know. Maybe the correct play is actually uh, to get to three potency boys. Or maybe this becomes zero cost. Even though it, I'm not sure it's good. There, there's a lot of uh, a lot of confusion going on here. This becomes just a gain energy card inherently. Dude, that's pretty good. Because I never play that card now. And th that makes that card, like, actually useful. Why are you here? Oh, this got... This came from Tiger Marble. Okay, don't, don't do that. Now, sure, you can do that. And then I'm just going to smack you. Clumsy's already gone. That, that's good. 
So give me... We don't do a lot of damage. So give me a Heartless Boy. There's two of them, though. You don't love to see it. Um, let's craft one of those. Seven block smack. Totally fine so far. They ain't hurting us for the time being. Uh, I really don't need a random relic effect. I'm going to be honest. That's, that's bad gamble 95% of the time. 19 coming in. 22 block. I will smack. Thank you. And the, the my rune is doing great things. I will uh, anger the mushroom. I think that's always the correct play as well. Uh, this is a 30 block card. Dude, I'm telling you. This swift fruit ended up being uh, really solid for us. And the fact that it's enhanced is even better. So we can actually play everything here. Because you just gain energy, Malik, smack. He's almost dead. I mean, we'll, we'll kill him. 100%. Uh, give me a dex. We don't need the heal. Like, we got this on lock right now. Uh, it'll be something like this. He's doing 10 now, but we... I don't know. I think you just bank on hitting him. I'm not sure why I was banking on both of those hitting him. That's a 1 out of 6 chance. No, 1 out of 9 chance. Which is not actually really good at all, Tyler. You dumbass. Uh, okay, kill you. I don't know why I even bothered playing Malik. It's fine. Doesn't affect us. Um, give me... I don't have AoE. Give me the slimes. I was going to do gremlins, but we don't have AoE. We don't want to do that. Smack. Upgrade. Just just let the fire stones do their business. Three more turns, dude. Three more turns. Uh, I will exhaust all strikes. Obtain five bites to lose less than what we would if we did the other option. Okay. Then it's going to be something like... I'm not sure this actually does anything. Uh, 19 block... 15 block. Just chill. You got things out the ass up here doing damage. Sadly, the, the storyteller hit some of it, but... Become confused because we have a couple of two-cost two boys in the deck. I mean, this is pretty bad, to be honest. Um, But I, I think that this affects these guys well. That kills you. Can craft to protect the Arun. That's a 15 block card as well. Then he can smack this guy. Does not roll him. Uh, and we don't take damage. That's, I mean, pretty much the best case scenario for us. Um, I will take 9 damage here. Instead of the 50-50 chance. Okay. It's a 34 block card. It's actually nuts, man. The, this dang uh, Swift Fruit. Is basically single-handedly saving our life in these fights. Um, please add two wounds. We just got to survive this turn. And that, my friends, we will do. 18 block, and they don't stand a chance. Okay. A sketchy fight, but it went well. Sketchy fight, but it went well. I took a sip of tea there. Shoot me, all right? Okay. Well, we got another craft industria. Don't really think that's the best case scenario. So, four damage. Four damage to all enemies. Break your oldest rune twice. So, breaking the rune will activate its effect. Um. Boy, I don't really think it's that good. I don't really think any of these are that good. I'm just going to pass on those. Maybe they are good, but I, I don't care for it. And I'm kind of interested in this. I mean, th this just gives us a ton of upgraded cards. So whenever you play an upgraded card, you enhance a card. Whenever you play an enhanced card, you upgrade a card. It's pretty good. And do we need the energy? We do. But I, I kind of, you know, plus it's from this mod, right? 
Well, it's not, actually. <laughs> it's from Aspiration, but uh, it, it uses this mod. So we can still feel okay about it. It's a specialized thing for this mod. Okay, so here, ready? You're gonna do this. You're gonna grab... Where the hell is it? Oh, it's an attack that I'm thinking of. Okay, never mind. You're gonna do this. Sure, downgrade that. Now we have energy. And that's gonna be something like enhance. Give me the three aqua. I'm still waiting for the day where that aqua is gonna... It, we're gonna get a rune out of it. Give me two more aqua. Hit me with your best shot. I'm waiting for that card to come back around, man. I'm ready. You got no idea how ready I am. Smack. Give me that two Terra. I love that two free Terra card. Maybe that's, uh, once again, me being an idiot, but I like that one a lot. Okay, eight block, more Terra. I'm all in on this just, like, smack and see what happens playing a bunch of defense and stuff like that. I should have been paying attention. We could have taken less damage there. Charge hammer. I still can't do anything. So this will make one. No, it made two. Okay. Let's downgrade uh, this to fortify. This is an 18 damage strike. It's hard to be mad about that. That guy is now super upgraded. I mean, that was a 36 damage card. Okay, ready? Aqua Rune. We've done it. They said it couldn't be done. But we got there. And we ain't taking damage. Look at all these runes, dude. I want to know how many runes you can get. Give me more. I want all the runes. In fact, I want so many runes, man. I genuinely don't want to take... I don't, I don't want to kill this guy. I want to stack up more runes. Give me another one. Thank you. Give me more Terra. Give me more block. Look, I'll hit you for 18. Just because it, it feels too good, right? Th this is how I expect our run to go going forward, right? Like, it's pretty good when you can stack up that many runes. So, gaining potency. I think that that is good. And, dude, I actually really like Busted Crown here. But, I'm not going to do it. I, and, actually, I'm not going to kill Clumsy from the deck. And, you might be like, Tyler, friggin' why, dude? Start a combat. Enhance all cards in your hand. That's insane. Okay. Uh, I would like to leave. Thank you. Enhancing all the cards in your hand is crazy, man. Okay, so now, enhance, this guy is a, uh, if I had him, would have been a, a crazy play. Can't break the rune, but it, it just enhances another card, because every time I play a card, it enhances. Anytime I, and it, that's like crazy, okay? Like, do you understand how crazy this is, these two together? Is literally we enhance all the cards in our hand at the start. And then in that first turn, every time we play one, we just enhance another one. Or upgrade another one. It's crazy. Okay. Just give me the singular energy. And then just gain, gain all the Terra in the universe. I need another card. Here is where we're caught right now. I need another card that creates uh the runes for terra because we generate a ton of terra like that's not the issue the issue is then actually getting the terra runes that doesn't seem to want to ever occur like i've got seven terra but we only have one card that can make a terra rune so there's an aqua rune we could break that rune to just ruin this guy I feel like that's almost always worth it. Really wanted to enhance Charge Hammer more. So that we could kill him on that turn. But I'll wait. I don't care. So it's a 9 potency rune. 
should have popped the potion now that I look back on it. This is horrible. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely going to pop that. We don't want to take that much damage here. Um, that's a 63 block card, dude. Because I got freaking Terra out my ass, but I can't make any more Terra runes. Like, that's the issue we're in right now. We'll get there. I mean, we just need to get another Terra creating... Terra rune creating card. Start your turn. Gain an Ignis and a Terra. I mean, it's crazy, man. I, I find it difficult to believe that that isn't good for us. Like, that has to be good. And then, honestly... Let's transform two strikes. So, what do we get here? Craft a magma rune. Deal damage to random enemy and gain block. Totally fine. Uh, this is a fantastic boy for us. Absolutely. And then gain 10 block, upgrade, and enhance one card in your hand. Not amazing, but we can make it work. We can make it work. Uh, membership card, y you just have to take it. Um... And then I'm looking at things like, you know, crafting a dud rune. Thank you. And honestly, give me that as well. So how am I feeling about this elite fight? I feel pretty good about it, to be honest. Um, add a random hammer card and a random chisel into your hand. Okay, I mean, that just does damage. Apply three ice cold. What's cooler than being cool, dude? Ice friggin' cold. All right, all right, all right. Uh, okay, so craft a dud rune. Fantastic. Now we can remove that dud rune to get more stuff in the future. I'm going to uh, get lithium ion out here. Firewall, look, firewall is great. I got no issues with firewall. I'm just looking at uh, more opportunities here. So it's going to be like... Um, this... Should have done things differently, though. Then that. Then that. Then that. You're still taking three damage here. There's a, a lot more decisions, I guess, than I, I thought we were going to run into here. Okay. We're set up for that to do stuff next time. I want to play our hammer when we get a charge hammer. So we spend three random elements to create to break our oldest dud rune and craft a random non-dud. But it's also a 15 damage boy. Like I feel like we should just go for that. Right? Especially now. Incendium. Deal six damage to all enemies. Alright, so I guess there's an AoE orb as well. Um I mean I think that that's great to know. So there's a... Well, let, let's start with that. For a 9 Firestone. Then give me that. Then that. So, obviously... Well, not obviously. Start with that. Then do that. But that doesn't give us the Terra. Okay. Okay. Break our oldest rune twice. That's fine. That was a lot of wacky stuff there. He will die to our uh, our runes. That was that was a journey, man. Uh, that was that was a journey. I feel like we want to keep crafting dud runes though. Oh Jesus. I don't, I don't know what to do, man. I really don't. I feel like another one of those is stupid, but we should do it anyway. I'm going to take another potency as well. I feel like there is room for just giving a billion potency in this run. Maybe. I don't know. Let's get make that innate, maybe. I actually think this upgrade's better for the three Aqua, because then we can actually get immediately... Okay, that's just temp HP. Immediately, we can get ourselves um, enough. So this is... We put two cards into our hand. 
give me this guy. And then just like give me that guy. So it's gonna start with this. And then that would allow us to play this and make the energy. And that's a great start for us. Uh Dud Rune. Craft the Terra. Give me the block. Probably want a lithium ion and just get this the hell out of my deck. That charge hammer was a 63 damage card, by the way. Which is a little bit insane. So many runes, dude. Some duds, but... It's a little bit crazy. So this gives us... You're out of rune space. Alright, so 7 is max. I mean, that's like crazy valuable to know, to be fair. I need my craft hammer. I'm not sure we want to actually do that one here. I would much rather... Uh, I also didn't want to do that either. We still take damage, which like sucks. I can't seem to break through enough to make this... Uh, enough to make this really work right now. Like we're just doing enough. But we're still taking damage. Like we haven't had the... Just like insane, insane play where I feel like the enemies don't stand a chance kind of thing. Right? What the hell was that? I don't know what the hell that was. I want that back. Every time you play a craft card, gain a random element. Look, it's like fine, but I don't know. I am going to add another, another one of those though. It's a 27 card deck because I just want to test cards, right? Like that's the issue we're in. I want to just do a bunch of stuff. Sadly, we can't do this, but this would have been nuts. That would have been 18 damage and 18 block per turn. From that, had we been able to play it. That would have been nuts. I mean, I am 5 potency up. It's going to still be nuts, like, a lot. So start with that. It's a 9 damage boy. That's an 11 damage, boy. Then break my dud rune, please. Craft the aqua rune, please. I'm I'm loving this. When it works, dude, it works. I mean, that that's all I'm saying. The issue is we're in a position where... Uh, we're, we're in a position where I have so many cards in my friggin' deck that I'm relying on drawing the exact things that I want. And that's, that's pretty much never where you want to be in, in a Spire run. What I want is to just, like, remove half of the cards in my deck. Okay. I don't need any of those. What is this? First time you draw a status card or curse, exhaust it, and draw a card. Basically makes Clumsy a free draw for us. Which is excellent. So what do I want on top of my draw pile? I don't need that defend. I'll tell you that. Let's get Lithium Ion out there. Gain a Terra. Get that. It's a 12 potency magma, man. 12 damage and 6 block. Oh, baby. That's a rune right there. That is a rune. Uh, 3 Ignis. Craft an Incendium rune with 12 potency. It's pretty good. I just thought that I could do two of them at once and I couldn't. Okay. That's fine. That's going to smack, man. It's going to really smack. I mean, combined, those are that's 20 damage every turn right now. Terra, give me another one of those. That's uh, 29 damage per turn right now. Make that still 29 damage per turn. Because it doesn't actually affect these. It only affects it when you craft it. Understood. Understood. Okay. I mean, to be fair, that that's fair. <laughs> to be fair, quite fair. Uh, smack that. Smack that. Let's start that up. Do this. Don't really want to downgrade that. But I do think we want to smack that guy there. Just to get as much going on as possible with, uh, 
vulnerability on that turn. Not sure in the end that was necessarily what we wanted, but look, we we got there. All of us, like, we, we went from not feeling confident at all to I feel great. So, really trying to figure out, uh... Wow, this is crazy good, dude. A Prismatica rune. Add a random upgraded class card to your hand at the start of your turn. Card costs zero. I'm going to take that just because it's funky. Bottled flame starting with an attack. I would love to start with go with the flow. And then here, um, I'll just transform a uh, base defend. Draw a card. Let's say draw a card, upgrade all cards in your hand. Is that what that was? Draw a card, upgrade all cards in your hand, and it's a uh, exhausting card, thins out the deck a little bit. I like it. Okay, so this is put two cards into our hand. So what do we have in our hand currently? Let's get um, let's get Craft Industria into our hand. And then we have the ability to gain tear. Give me the other one of those in my hand. Okay, so start with that. Then you want to gain some stuff. Gain three of each element, draw a card. But it can be upgraded multiple times. So do that, please. Craft a dud rune. Fortify this. It's a 17 potency card. What the hell, dude? Uh, gain five of each element. This is nuts. Um, then sure. 21 damage and 10 block every turn. And we're getting an energy up every turn. That's real good, man. That's real good. Um, so let's... The goal is to kill this guy on this turn. So let's do this. Just made a Firestone. That's okay. That's okay. Um, then we can do this. Then we can do this. And then... I mean, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm actually totally fine to do that as well. We did not put up... Well, the temp HP covered us. I was going to say we didn't put up enough block to uh, survive that. But we, we did. So we can craft that. So that's going to give us a random card that costs zero. Every turn. Very good. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm happy. Uh, we got to find a way to put up a lot of block. I also need to, like, break runes a little bit here. Uh, we're, we're stacking up the, <laughs> the element count here. Like, that's not an issue. But what we need to do is actually break runes, man. Crap. I kind of didn't realize that breaking runes was still something that we needed to do. I can't actually do anything here. Like, there, there's very little that I could do in that, uh, in that situation. Gain three potency at the start of your turn. Gain a potency. Whenever you craft a rune, lose two. So break your oldest rune. Then let's craft that. Then that. It's big smack time. That gives two of each element. Doesn't do anything else. I mean, we still put up 46 block. So in the end, I mean, am I mad? Not really. Dud rune gone. doesn't matter what we fortify because i'm pretty sure he's dead it was an interesting fight um do i know what happened barely break all your runes okay oh, give me it why not right why not um let's transform cards so strike gone two defense gone what the hell is this we have a 29 card deck by the way two terra one aqua crafts an obratio rune Reduces an enemy's strength for the turn. That's pretty good. 
Lose at most half your block at the start of your turn. Gain a Terra and Aqua. I hate that. Deal 34 damage. Break your oldest rune to gain 18 block. That's also insane. Okay. More tea for Tyler. I have no idea what this run is, by the way. I'm just kind of here doing what I can. Um, but I feel like we are in a really weird spot. A Medicine Rune. Cost 5 Terra, huh? Not sure I can get to 5 Terra. So, unfortunate, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get to 5 Terra. We might be able to play it later. I'm assuming it just regens us. I didn't look closely enough. Okay, so there's that. Then we can get that. That's going to be uh, another one of those. Gain me some block. Then do this. I mean, I kind of feel like I should be popping the attack card, but I'm going to not. Yeah, okay, we got lucky. Although it would have just taken our temp HP, so who cares, right? Uh, 15, craft a dud rune. Then potency, boom. Break all your runes, gain energy for each non-dud. I mean... I don't know, man. It, that doesn't seem good enough. We're doing 17 damage to him, and then we can just hit him for 34 and kill him. It, it was kind of a who cares. Whenever you enhance a card, enhance it an additional time. Do you know how nuts that is? With what we have in our deck. Like, in all seriousness, that's that's insane. That just allows us to do everything. Lose permafrost, I hated it anyway. That's totally fine. 29 card deck. I really don't want anything in here. And by that, I mean I'm going to add another way to craft terror runes. Because... Uh, I said I wanted to do that anyway, so... Okay. Definitely don't want the curse. But we chillin'. We chillin' big time right now. It's going great. So, unstable hammer. hammer. Break that rune to ruin this guy's life. And then something like... Gaining potency... So this is an incendium room with 10 pot. The incendium is deal damage to all enemies. Okay. I mean, I think we're in the case of, like, that. This will give us three Ignis, then. It's fine, dude. Is this 16 damage a turn? Who cares, right? So an Abratio rune. I still really like the idea of that. Um, but I do need another Terra, so let's start with that. Then give me the Obratio. He's going to lose 7 strength a turn. I mean, do you know how nuts that is? That's really good. And this is uh, just buttload of damage to him. We take some damage, sure. But, uh, boy, I really I really like that. What is a Vitae rune? Lose potency of the rune instead of HP. No. I, I don't know. Just don't don't even try to comprehend what that means. You're gonna hurt your brain doing it. Uh, give me a relic. Whenever you play a card, deal damage to a random enemy. Look, it's fine. Not anything I'm gonna get too excited about. Kill the base, defend. Let's upgrade something. I don't even know what to upgrade at this point. Um, supernova being free. Reinforce. Upgrade and enhance all the cards. Um, I don't know, man. I feel like for the most part, a lot of these don't matter anymore. Like, I, I suppose reinforce is good to upgrade. So you might as well. Colorless card, don't care. None of those really stick out to me. Uh, there's a 0% chance I fight Mega Nightmare ever again, um, let alone on this run. So, what do I want in my deck at the start of this turn, huh? Um, probably Powered Anvil, and then just give me my Mallet card. So, it's going to be something like Enhance Everything. 
Then, whenever you enhance a card, do stuff. Let's enhance this. And then I'm gonna Malak. And I'll just downgrade... Those. For energy. At a random craft to your hand, it costs zero and does not need elements. And I gain Aqua from it. Okay. Sure. 44 damage kills you. Upgrade and enhance cards in your hand. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not, man? Why not? Um, so, do that. Unstable hammer. 15 block, crafts a bunch of Ignis. Crafts some Terra. Sure. More Ignis for me. I feel like, I mean, we're in good shape, right? So, Dud Rune, Rune Dead gave me a simple Magma Rune. Um, we could craft a Firestone Rune. How much do I care? Not a lot. I think that block is better, but I'll craft it. We somehow still, like, barely take damage. Uh, we did destroy that rune. But that's kind of what its point was. So 68 damage, break your oldest rune. So you're gone. To put it bluntly. Then I'll break all my runes and kill you. Okay. Don't care about any of those. I mean, look, we're, we're very likely going to win. Um, will I go for the elite? I mean, why not, right? Get a blankie. Pardon me? How the hell do I get a blankie? Apotheosis. That's pretty dumb when you think about it. Um, it's a 12 potency boy. Yeah. Except give me, give me a, another potency boy. And he ain't hitting us. We can let our uh, our things do all the work here. And I, I probably will, to be fair. Uh, we could break all the runes, actually. I actually think that's not a bad idea. Because we, we weren't really in a case where it was going to do anything anyway. Two Ignis, two Terra. Okay, sure. We'll do that, and then that just gives us the uh, stuff. So he's going to lose 7 strength per turn when that hits. So he can't do anything to us here, which is fun. Uh, give me one of those. Give me the Ignis. Give me more Ignis. I mean, he genuinely cannot hit us in that, in that case because of losing 7 strength. That is such a good card, man. Uh, then give me this. Then that. Then that. Um, struggle to believe you're going to hit me. You hit me. Well, you hit my temp HP. I don't know. You're, you're just dead, man. By every stretch of the word, you're just dead. Just get, get me out of the fight. Break your oldest non-dud rune to gain 16 block. Deal 16 damage and craft a dud rune. Frig off. I, I can't deal with that negativity in my life. Okay. Smack. Upgrade and enhance all the cards. Craft the Aqua Rune, see how much I care. Smack that as well. 10 Potency Boy here. Let me hit you real quick with a... Uh... Let me hit you with an Energized Chisel. And then let me hit you with 10 Potency Boy. Would love to play Super Position for 85 damage, but we'll have to wait, right? It will have to wait. Sip a tea while he adds crap. Right on time. I had to set down the glass, so I guess I wasn't on time. 36 block. Um, two Terran and Aqua for a just fantastic Obratio. Dude, it's such a good, good card. Absolutely insane. Um, don't really want to break all my runes. As much as I love Supernova, this is a great setup of uh, runes in our hand. So let's not do too much there. Break off Permafrost. I hated you when we had you before. Still hate you now. Another Incendium Rune, more more block. I mean, 
why not? Let, let's just let's just see what happens, right? We'll, we'll see how permafrost goes. This is a 30 damage card. What? Thank you for the dud rune. Thank you for coming to my dud room party. I have 67 block and I don't know how. 69 block. Nice. Okay. Lithium ion. Draw cards and handsome. A Vitae rune with 22 potency. Jesus. Dude, this is actually kind of nuts. Kind of crazy and nuts. We're just basically playing random cards and seeing what happens. Okay. This is a 27 potency. 33 potency boy. 38 potency boy. It, this is actually like... We've reached the point of it's rude. This is a 44 potency block card. That is 44 block per turn, man. Jesus criminy Christmas. How can you be mad about that? Um, so I do love the idea of getting runic dodecahedron up to speed, but we can just rest at the end of the uh, floor here. I genuinely don't think that any of these matter anymore, for the record. Um, I think that Firestorm is a good one to have early, so let's just make that innate. But some of this just does not matter. And I don't even know what to add to my deck at this point, at the beginning of these things. It's such a hard answer to, to give. Like, what do you want me to do? Huh? What do you want me to do? So start, give me the Aqua, then give me the Aqua Rune. That almost always is a good start, right? And then, I don't know, Potency. That seems to be a good start, too. Smack that guy. You got Dud Runes now. My Industria Plus also draws a card at the start of my turn. This is already a Terra Rune with freaking 20 Potency, man. It's crazy. Okay. Da d downgrade this, because we can't actually play it. To play Firestorm. Then this. And then that's 16 damage to someone every turn. I mean, that alone will kill them over time. Do this. Now they're in really rough shape. You know what? You might as well do this as well. This is so much crap. Holy lord. Um... Just trying to figure out where my potency lies here. And I believe my potency lies in like a 20, 20 potency block card. That's where my... I had 113 block on that turn. In all seriousness, what the hell happened, right? To be fair, I did say that we were waiting on that run to just... You know, drive us into uh, insanity. We, we got there. Like, goddamn, we got there. Um, so th this is 100% a... We just want to smack the Christ out of this guy. So let's just do that. 14 per turn is a great start. So then 15. I will craft one of those. I will craft those. And then... <laughs> It's a 49 potency block card, man. I mean, this guy literally... I'm not sure there's a single thing he can do to stop that. Like, oh look, you're dead. And you're also losing 11 strength per turn. And you also are losing... You're just losing, dude. I got 130 block on that turn just by playing whatever cards I wanted in my hand. So, you're dead. That's uh, another magma rune. Bring it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Smack, smack. Two hops this time. I mean, I don't really want to downgrade that. I just want to play it. Uh, oops, my bad. 66 block and you did no damage. 24 block. Fortify. I mean, I'm out of rune space. So this is one of those uh, doesn't really matter scenarios. 
can't even craft half of these. I put up 170, 183 block on that turn. And he hit me for two. Okay. Okay, boomer. Uh, let's, let's smith. What do I want to do? I don't know. I powered anvil. What could go wrong, right? So, it's big cluster, massive shapes. I hate this guy. Um, but look, you really think that it stands a chance against us. Um, but do you know who I am? I am, uh, Luke, I am your father. Give me this. I mean, that's pretty good. We want to smack you immediately. I know we take some damage off of it, but that's okay. Then we want to put up block. And we probably want to enhance this guy. Just to make sure he's uh, as killing it as possible. And then it's like, you know, 25 smack, 30 smack, and then 21 potency. Pardon me? Did I not have... Well, do that. It's going to prevent us from taking HP here. And then... I don't know. I did kill a Dudrun. It's fine. So we won't take damage here. Then this turn... Let's do this. I do think that we want to... Uh... No, you know what? We want to do that, first of all. And then I think we want to do that. Just to gain a, a little bit of uh, movement here. So we also should drink the artifact. Two cards to enhance. The Abratio rune is insane. And I do think that those are also really good. So let's start with artifact. Abratio for an 18 strength per turn loss. And all of a sudden, I mean, we won. I know it sounds bad, but I mean, this guy's in rough shape just because of what we did. So the Incendium Rune is nice. 36 block. Then there goes the 3 Ignis for the Incendium Rune. And the damage is just disgusting right now. I mean, the runes are doing so much damage to us. Or for us, I guess I should say. Card to enhance. I want one, like, amazing block card. So that's kind of where we're going here. Yeah, I want that. And then we're out of rune space. But we can just stack those up. Uh, we can remove this rune. To throw another block one in. Like, that. that's probably where I want to go with this. So it's like 30 damage. This will not create any runes. So, I mean, we can upgrade those, but it's, it's kind of irrelevant. This whole thing is a little bit irrelevant at this point. Um, I mean, th th this is a freaking 108 block card. <laughs> Do you really think we need much else besides that at this point in time? Like, we can't even make runes. And this guy's losing 18 strength a turn, man. Like, <laughs> this is so gross. I mean, it's actually, like, disgusting. Um, so, I finally, I want to use Superposition just to try to craft another insane rune here. So, it's going to be something like Superposition to yeet ya. And then... Let's, like, downgrade those, which upgrades that, and then... But we, we want... We have to play this now. So now he's losing 27 strength a turn. My bad. Just a little bit more than before. Um... <laughs> so dumb, man. 90 block. Keep it going. We could break... Yeah, just go for it. What could go wrong, right? He's 54 strength down on this turn. And we're smacking. We out here. 
we can play friggin' everything, dude. It just, just, just go for it. The cards, I'm playing them before they can even get out. <laughs> we had 244 block on that turn. Love to see it. 32 damage coming, 30, 48 damage coming in. A decent chunk of damage. Um, hear me out, though. I'm just going to craft Protectium real quick and uh, craft Incendium real quick. And also put up some block, which allows me to upgrade this card, which will just, like, straight up kill um, the large majority of you. But in case you were concerned, uh, we will just not win here. All right, you're at 2 HP. Really? Well, if there was ever a time to uh, super position the hell out of you for, you know, just, like, all of the damage in the universe... Now probably would have been the time to do it, but instead I'm going to let the runes just ruin you. Uh, that was a really fun run. I still don't really know what happened throughout it, but this character is pretty interesting. Um, and was a very fascinating experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, uh, much appreciate the support on the Modded Slay the Spire series. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. You have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>